finished on Zoldan. Today, the absolute apex of Battlefield 5 developments. DICE actually introduced correct World War II clothing for not only the German army, but the British army too, in multiple numbers. Let's get right into it. The Feldgrau you see is the standard German soldier. Early war. What he's wearing is an m 30 Feldbluse, which is the standard battle vest of the German army. The difference between this one and the one we have in Battlefield 5 is this one is both correctly modeled, looks good, and is made of cloth, and not made of canvas. In addition, the pants being of the correct color and the correct texture and material, as well as detail, also have correctly modeled boots, which are not only correctly modeled, but are shorter than the base boots you find on the wolf. Which is that most soldiers have their boots shorter than the wolf version. Which means that finally, we get an actual standard issue soldier in Battlefield 5. This is what should be the golden standard of Battlefield 5 when it launched. The amount of differences you see between this and what we have in Battlefield 5 previously is, is staggering. It's incredible. If Battlefield 5 launched with this, Battlefield 5 would be most likely the most successful Battlefield game in history. Because it would get the World War II aesthetic right. So I'ma put all my money into this boy and buy it right now. My boy has been delivered to the armory. Next up, the Offizier. The Offizier is the rare version of the previous skin. You see the same clothing with some color changes and some details. For example, he has a pistol holster and he has different colored gaiters. And he also has an iron cross that's missing in the base version as well as a visor cap with no insignia on it, which is okay. Just like the base version, its uh, base texture is cloth, or wool specifically. And that's why it looks so good and not like paper, like 99.9% .9 of other Battlefield 5 cosmetics. It appears they hired a competent person to handle these cosmetics, which is extremely sad, but also invigorating, given that Battlefield 5 is not receiving any more content updates. Come and get it, Zoldat. I will put my pee, -pee in your poo-poo. Hello, my soldiers. What's going on? You having a laugh, you f***ing and say? This, me soldiers, is the Tommy. F***ing hell, yeah? What's going on, lads? It is simply incredible looking at this brown lad. Please don't take this in the wrong context. As British clothing did in World War II, it's made of wool. The Tommy is the base version of the British P-40 battle dress, which was the standard uniform worn by British soldiers in World War II, and he also has the correct Brody helmet. This is incredible, dude. I really like this. Dice, why'd you have to do it now that you canceled the game? And the gaiters are correct, correctly colored, correctly textured, boots correct, straps correct, P40 pants. Everything's beautiful. This should have been a standard at launch, and Battlefield 5 would be an incredibly successful game. Nice made a magnitudinal mistake with not doing this. Now, soldiers, next up is the Lanzer, which is actually the Falschirmjäger. What he's wearing is a standard Falschirmjäger smock, which is this thing right here. In this case, the smock is also made of wool, or whatever material it was made in real life. It mimics it and represents it properly. Instead of being what previously, as you can see right here, they're made of this canvas texture that has nothing to do with the actual textures of the clothing that it represents. And it's always the same texture. On the grave digger, as you can see. On the paladin, same thing. On the wolf, it looks terrible. This also, you may think this is a small thing, but it's actually a massive thing for Battlefield 5. Because to get the textures and details and colors right is to get the soldiers right. And to get soldier customization and looks right is the number one element of getting a World War II aesthetic right. And I simply failed at this at launch, or all up until now. So, the Lanza is the common variant of the Falschmiga skin. You got the beautiful helmet, which is not that very different from the base Falschmiga helmet, but it can be called Falschmiga because there's an already Falschmiga customization option, goddammit. Pants, gaiters, short boots, short combat boots, smock, and helmet as well as the gators. Why couldn't you have me at launch dice? I would have made your game successful! Storms of that bitter Falschmjäger! Now, for my favorite piece of customization in this armory update, which by the way does not contain all the versions of new clothing, for example, Tommy has two other variants, Officier has one more variant, and Lanza has two more variants, the Kamerad, oh my god, it looks so damn good! Look at the precision of the modeling on the wrists and the gloves, and the textures and the colors, it's so damn correct, it looks so good, dude! You did me right, Dice, you did me right! The Kamerad's coat, as you can see here, is Mantel 36, which was a standard issue long coat of the German army in World War II, starting from 1936, as you can guess by the number, and is my personal favorite best item added in this armory update. And I can't wait to goddamn use it, so I'ma buy it right now! Soldiers, the incredible quality of these items in this armory update, introduced in the last Battlefield 5 update, which is coincidentally also the final Battlefield 5 update. 
makes me incredibly sad, but also warm and fuzzy in my heart. For finally, we can have a World War II game with World War II soldiers, with correctly modeled, correctly textured, correctly sized and detailed cosmetics. And for that, I am at least thankful that it hasn't all gone downhill so far that this would not even be a thing. I am ready to take on the soldiers, and I do not have constipation. Thank you very much for watching, soldiers. Please like and subscribe and comment and all those stuff that helped the algorithm. Thank you. And join my Discord server in the description below. Thanks.